In this tutorial, we'll discuss installing the server components of Spectre 360. We start by extracting the compressed file you downloaded from the Spectre 360 email after your purchase. This allows you to run the setup file once the unzipping is complete. Go ahead and unzip your setup files. Say OK to the successful uh, extraction message. And then the setup process will begin. The first part of this setup process asks for you to input your serial number sent to you after your purchase of Spectre 360. You can go ahead and paste your serial number into the boxes provided and select Next. The next screen warns us that if our antivirus exclusions are not in place, we'll need to do so. You can reference the prerequisite module for that tutorial. And then, of course, you can go ahead and um, browse through and accept the SpectreSoft end user license agreement to continue with the installation. By clicking Accept, you are accepting all the terms and conditions of our EULA. The third part of this asks us for the installation path for the Spectre 360 application. It will default to C program files SpectreSoft. If you choose custom installation, it will allow you to change the uh, individual components that you'd like to install, as well as the installation path for both the application and the database. You'll notice by default, both the application and the database will be deployed to C program files SpectreSoft or C program files Microsoft SQL Server. The first part of the setup will uh, go ahead and alert you that the .NET framework is required and we'll go ahead and install the .NET framework if it is not present on the machine already. As setup progresses you'll see the various components being installed to the server, including the SQL Express database. The progress bar at the bottom will show you not only the current progress of the uh, module that's being installed, but also the overall progress of your installation. So here we see the installation of the SQL Express database. The installation steps here will take anywhere from a few minutes to up to possibly 30 minutes, depending on the resources of the machine you're installing to. Now we see the installation of the dashboard and the core services for Spectre 360. Once the installation is complete, we will receive the successful installation message and the ability to launch Spectre 360 at the end of the installation process. We can select Finish to move forward with our configuration. When we launch Spectre 360 for the first time, we're going to get prompted for credentials for both the Spectre 360 database and the control center service. The control center service needs to have administrative rights in this machine. Make note of your passwords so that you'll always have them for future reference. We then can select register. Go ahead and select register. An email will be sent to you with the unlock code to move forward with the software registration. Once you receive your registration information, you can open up the RTF file with the unlock code. Go ahead and copy the code, including the brackets, and paste it back into the registration window at the very bottom where you see the field for the unlock code, and select the unlock button. This will verify that you're validated for your license count. 
and you can move forward with your configuration. Initially, the Add Computers Wizard will launch for you. It is not necessary to utilize the Add Computer Wizard right away. You can always launch it at a later time. In this case, uh, the Add Computers or Adding Computers to your installation will be covered in a separate tutorial. We can, however, expand our Control Center for Spectre 360, select the Home button, and we're brought to the home page for Spectre 360 where we have a variety of information. We also can browse the Start Spectre 360. Inside the program group you see the various components that have been installed including the control center which is our administrative interface as well as the dashboard which is how we will review our data. The deployment guide, the help guide, installation notes, and the import utility. From the Spectre 360 homepage, you also will notice some very valuable links, such as documentation, like the deployment guide, or the online administrator's guide. If I'd like to access any of these guides, I simply have to select the link, paste in my serial number, to gain access to these valuable Spectre 360 resources. Here you see the various Spectre 360 support options. We can select any of those options such as the administration guide and view it right from the Spectre 360 control center. The admin guide is a great resource for those of you who are just getting acquainted with the Spectre 360 application. You can utilize the table of contents down the left hand side and when you're done just go right back to the browse home button your Spectre 360 application is installed.